What's up, everybody? This is the review of the Apple iPad case. This is the Apple specific, and this is not the iPad review. I don't think I'm quite ready to make that yet. So let's get the box out of the way, and here's the case. But you know, you can see you see it is a stand, and um, that certainly has some versatility to the iPad. <coughs> now let me just tell you the price. This is going to run you about forty bucks at uh, Best Buy or Apple or Amazon, wherever you decide to buy it. So. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you better want to have screen protectors on the iPad before you uh, even think about putting it in the case. It is a bloody pain to get out. And there's the aluminum back of the iPad. So, we put it in. At least we try to. And um, in some other reviews I have seen, people... Oh, sorry about that, bump the tripod. How's that for professional? Yeah, I'm trying to become a YouTube partner and all I do is bump the tripod. Anyway... Well, I'm getting this in, uh, so I've seen some videos of it where it's not completely in, and I am going to make sure mine is completely in, in just case you're wondering, I had it sitting on the box over here. Go watch my unboxing, if you haven't, of the iPad, so you know what to expect, if you are still planning to get one. Uh, but like I said, this case is about, is 40 bucks. And, um, while I'm putting it in here, let me go ahead and tell you what it feels like. It's a really grippy, rubbery stuff, and on the inside it's a felt... It is not pleather. Okay, so I guess that means it's in. Yeah, it's in. So now what you do now that you got the iPad actually in the case, and let me just tell you it is a tight fit, you take this little flap, you put it around the side of the iPad, like so. Maybe it'd help if I did it in shot. It's This is a really hard case to put on, and it doesn't... Well, I'll talk about more more about that in a minute. So, once you get this done, all right, it's not quite in yet. Well, I'd say that's about the best I'm going to get it. You see how it's tucked in? And then you see it closes like a notebook. And that really adds some uh, nice versatility to the iPad. Now, you see this little flap back here. I'm going to get this out of the way to show you uh, what kind of stance you can have. If you put the front flap like that, you can have it like this to type with. Oh, I don't know my passcode. You don't need to know that. Whoops. So open up notes, or yeah, let's just open up notes because that would, you can see the keyboard is a very come on. Not only will open the keyboard for me here. Huh? There it is. You can see it's a very nice typing angle, and I like it much better than typing normally. And also you have the movie viewing angle. That's a little bit more like that. It, I find it to be a little bit more wobbly. Maybe if I use the case more, maybe it will uh, fix itself. I don't know. I mean, I imagine if I use it more, this would be a little bit more of a crease. But uh, let's just go ahead and find a short video clip to show you. Right, you see, it, it's a nice little angle to view movies. And also, you can have it in portrait, but I don't like it like that. You can see it wobbles extremely easily. And also, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a short little uh, tour around the device with the Apple iPad case on. Got a headphone and a mic right there. Your power button is a very nicely cut. Uh, your orientation switch and your volume control. Your speaker grill is not that well shown. You know, I've tried working it down a little bit. And I've been doing that daily since I got the case. Um, and there's the 30-pin uh, connector. So there's that short little iPad case. And watch out for that review. It will. It is coming. So peace out, home slices. This is me signing out. Maybe if I hit the right button, it's me signing out. Ring a ding, 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 